All right, come on. We got to do the intro. Come on. This is our channel, right? what's up if you're new here hi my name is Atriana if you're not new welcome back thanks so much for tuning in to today's video before I get into the topic of today's video I do just want to say right now I am about 200 followers away from hitting 1k that's kind of crazy to me considering that I am somebody who does YouTube as like a hobby you know I don't make income from it I don't have a desire to be like a full-time content creator I do enjoy the opportunities that I've had to collab and work with brands and I'm open to doing that in the future but as somebody who just does this like as a hobby and really like enjoys learning about like editing process and kind of creating and all of that strictly for fun it's really cool to think that there are almost 1,000 of you who actually enjoy watching the content that I put out there special shout out to all of you who have been there since the beginning if you just recently subscribed you know like I said that's awesome I'm super excited I can't wait to get to 1k so moving on to what this video is actually about today I am doing a try on haul for a new active wear brand well new to me maybe not new to you but a new activewear brand that I have never tried before it's called camo fitness I've seen it on Instagram so I figured I would go ahead and give it a shot a bonus is that my sister is actually an affiliate she's part of like their ambassador program so I was actually able to use her discount code and get a little bit of money back if you guys are interested in you know saving some coins couple bucks a little something is better than nothing right then you guys can use her code as well this video is not sponsored by camo fitness i did go ahead and purchase these items myself like i said i just used my sister's affiliate code i will go ahead and put that affiliate code in the link below and then i will put it somewhere up here in the screen for you guys to also use it but getting into the items you know i wasn't 100 percent sure on if i would love everything so i kept it pretty light i just went ahead and bought four items two sets i did stick to my true sizes i did go ahead and get the tops in a size small and the bottoms i got in a size medium one thing that i will say that was interesting about camo fitness is i ordered everything like the same day you know i did one complete order but everything shipped differently maybe it was like two items you know came in like one package one item came in another i just know that not everything shipped in the same package but i think that they all shipped like on the same day except for one item I think it shipped like a couple days later so that was a little bit interesting I will go ahead and put my measurements somewhere here in the screen for you guys to see just as like a general reminder I am a 32b my waist is sitting at about like 28 29 inches and then my hips run about in between like 41 42 inches it changes I am about 145.8 ish pounds and then I am 5'3 so let's go ahead and jump into the video okay this is a fun design straps are really comfortable the design is actually really comfortable I'm surprised I don't feel like I would have any slippage I actually do feel pretty secure you know I was kind of worried that this is one of those sports bras where it might feel like I'm having under boob or like it might fall out but I actually feel really secure these designs typically irritate me this crossover in the front but it's okay and I actually feel like this has really good full boob coverage to the side and to the front I would imagine you know sports bras like this are often marketed as like light to medium impact sports bras but I do have a smaller chest so sometimes I feel like these sports bras do provide me with enough medium a high impact sports bra that I'm able to complete a normal workout that includes running, sprinting. The only thing that I am maybe concerned about is the straps in the back. You know, you do have that braided adjustable strap that just hooks on, kind of interweaves in between. Um, I would be a little concerned that one of those were to snap off in the middle of my workout, which would then obviously change the feel and the look of this. When I turn around, you know, you do see that it does look like it's kind of hanging on here. So that is something that I'm just a little concerned about just seeing it on. I wonder how much movement could actually make it pop off. The material and the quality feels super soft, very comfortable. It does kind of have that performance fabric-like feel. And it is a thicker material, so I do think that it is durable. So I actually love these shorts. They're very compressive. Let me just start off by saying that, but they're not too compressive that they are uncomfortable. Now, these shorts are an original biker length, as you guys can see. All the way around, they are a true biker. So if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you're comfortable in, I think that these are really good shorts for you. They are compressive in the way that they're not make you feel uncomfortable or make anything bulge in any way that's inappropriate. Here's the full look, uh, the full look around. I do like my shorts 
pulled up. I do kind of dislike that there is so much extra fabric here from having to pull them up. I do feel like it is a lot. Maybe these are ones that I can roll underneath. I do have a good sense of tummy control in these shorts. These are high-waisted. We do have a pretty thick waistband here. Pretty straight through, no design. They are a little bit of a thicker material. I feel like they are a really good high-quality performance material. We do have a seam here on the front. No front seam going down. Let's get into the back. So we do have that flattering V-shaped seam here in the back. There's no scrunch, okay? So if you're looking for shorts that don't have any scrunch, these are the shorts that you want. I feel like the seam does sit directly where it needs to sit. There's no bunching, there's no gathering. I'm not getting glute separation, but I'm not getting glute smushing either. So I don't feel like I just have kind of one glute. The shorts do obviously roll underneath. They do create a little bit of a pocket under my glutes, but that's not a problem to me. Again, these shorts are squat proof, are shine proof. I have the light here. There's no bounce back, no reflection. These are really solid shorts. My only con, again, is how long they are for the micro shorts length. But you know what? I think that I am a runner and I do realize that I get a lot of chafing on the inside. So these are actually probably perfect to start out running for me. I can have them pull down and then as I move throughout my workout, I can just go ahead and lift them up and then make them comfortable. Here is the complete set. And guys, I actually love this together. I would feel comfortable wearing this to the gym and super confident any day. And then the last thing that I would point out is you do have your little distinct K Camo Fitness logo here. It's in like a dark brown, almost a black, and then you do have your K Camo Fitness logo here. I really love when brands keep it simple. There's nothing super flashy over the top. This blue on camera with the light looks so different than the blue that I feel like I am seeing in the mirror. This feels so amazing on my body and I feel like it looks amazing. I feel like this is an outfit that looks like I'm ready to go to Pilates or I'm ready to do yoga. I could actually go run some errands. So here we are together, top and bottom. Now this is usually not my typical style. Okay guys, so for starters, as I mentioned, now this is a little bit different than what I'm used to, right? I typically go for kind of the sports bras that are strappy, that have a little bit of like exposure here in the front. I chose this because I actually really like the design in the back. For starters, this neckline, surprisingly, it's not bothering me. I'm, I'm not even concerned with how high it is. The one thing that I don't like is the sides. I do feel like they do come up a little bit high and they do kind of cut into my armpits. As you can see, I do have a little bit of a fat pocket here. There are removable cut pads in here and I think because of this color, maybe because of the design, they're super noticeable. So I would go ahead and take these cut pads out. The material is pretty thin, so I would be a little concerned, you know, with my nips showing, if that is something that you're concerned about. Maybe this bra isn't right for you. I will say that this sports bra does feel like it's medium to high impact. We do have a band under here, which is pretty compressive. There is a little bit of stretch, but overall, I do feel like this sports bra is really compressive. The real reason to get into this sports bra is this cute design here in the back. I don't even know how to explain this design. I mean, it's not a racer back. It's not strappy. It's like a combination of both, right? So I think that they wanted to go kind of with like the concept of having it open and back with a little bit of strap and design, but still give you kind of that full coverage. I think you could definitely wear this on an upper body or a back day and still feel like, okay, I'm working on my back, but I can see some muscles here and feel confident and comfortable. I can't feel any of the straps. There's absolutely no digging into my back, which is what I love love about this design here. It's super comfortable. I don't feel like have any issues with this moving. Just this is a fun design. I've never seen a design like this on any sports bra that I have had so far. So I think Camel Fitness really did something that elevated a basic high neck sports bra that we typically see. I think that a sports bra like this, if you do have a bigger chest, it allows you to kind of feel a little bit more comfortable and confident and fun because you have this fun design. You don't have to stick to a traditional regular boring sports bra that's either just just like a racer back or just like completely blank in the back so i do really like this the only thing that i don't like is the cut pads i will also note that when i did put this on over my head i did kind of have that sound where it sounds like seams are ripping or stretching a little bit so i will say this was a little bit snug and tight but nothing in the fabric actually ripped or stretched no seams open from what i can see now these aren't exactly biker length they're about mid thigh but you can pull them up and kind of create them to be a little bit shorter and you guys know that is my preferred style so first off I have to say when I put these shorts on these are like the ideal shorts that I'm always 
looking for. These are super buttery soft, perfect amount of compression with the perfect amount of stretch. These feel like a second skin. These are baby soft and they look super good and flattering. So as I mentioned, they do have some compression, so I do have a bit of tummy control here. They are high waisted, so we do have kind of that larger band here. There's no front seam. Uh, we get into the seams at the bottom. Like I said, these shorts are compressive, but they're not super compressive where they're super tight on my thighs. There's any pulling gapping. I can pull here and it is comfortable. I can see a little bit of piling here, unfortunately, in the front. Of course, I think that's just an issue in like today's material. And of course, it's noticeable here in this lighter color. I didn't notice it in the brown shorts. Getting into the back. Now, these are just like the brown shorts that I tried on the design is very similar and we do have that v-shaped seam which does kind of shape the glutes again we don't have a butt scrunch in these shorts this color is a little bit tricky i would not trust that these are 100 squat proof especially if you're going to wear colored underwear underneath them i would suggest going with a nude underwear or something closer to your skin black i would imagine would show anything light would show under the lights i am getting a little bit of pushback so i wouldn't trust that these would be 100% squat proof. I also do think that this would show any sweat. Something to be mindful of if you are very conscious of that. Again, the shorts do roll up here just a little. I do have a little bit of a fat pocket here that is created right under my glutes. It's not bothersome to me. It is not cutting into my skin or restricting any access, but do be mindful that these shorts do roll up. As far as fit and style goes, I have absolutely no complaint with these shorts. These are, again, like I said, my ideal short. I think that the fabric feels amazing the fit feels amazing okay guys so relatively quick little try on haul overall i am pretty impressed with camo fitness just from the try on haul i actually really liked it i felt like the quality of the materials was super good i didn't have any issues with the actual clothing there wasn't anything like you know that i felt super picky about the only thing that i would really say is like that sports bra I'm wondering like if that strap is gonna stay on but that's super minor to me so i think that it's a brand that i would probably purchase from again i think one of their biggest aspects is that they seem a little bit more affordable than some of the other activewear brands that are out there. I think the shorts were in the ballpark of like $28 to $32, which is pretty good when you know you have activewear brands that are selling shorts for like $40, $52, right? And that's just the shorts. And so if you're thinking about buying a set, if the top or the sports bra is also $50, $52, that's already like $100. Think about like if Camo Fitness, both of their items are like 20, 25 to like 30 bucks, then okay, that's 50 bucks for one set. And then if I can get two sets, like that's the cost of one set for another activewear brand. And like I said, the quality of the material felt pretty good. And I didn't really have any issues with anything. Again, the designs were different which I feel like is something that I'm not really seeing with some of the other activewear brands. I will say when I was shopping online, I did see that they had a lot of the items that I was interested in out of stock. So I don't really know what their stocking looks like, but hopefully it's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to wait and see, you know, if they have like any big launches coming around, then maybe I'll try and shop. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see more videos like this, please let me know. If you have any comments, questions, anything, leave them below in the comment section and if you guys aren't subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell that way you get notified every single time that i upload a new video thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and you guys will see me and omega in the next video